Hello everyone, my name is Sue Viscara, the Digital Declutter Diva, and today we're going to talk about the Quick Access Toolbar in Microsoft Outlook. Let's get started. So let's start with why should I customize the Quick Access Toolbar? If you are actually in the calendar view, you do not have to toggle back and forth between the calendar and email to actually send an email. The same is true if you are in your inbox and reviewing emails, you can quickly set up a meeting or a task reminder on your calendar without switching out of the email. So let's take a look at where to find the quick access toolbar. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and open up your Microsoft Outlook. And I want you to navigate to the top of your screen and you'll notice blank blue bar here right before the search function. What we're going to look for is this arrow right here, this drop down arrow. This will allow us to take the action that we want to take. Let's try. All right, with my Microsoft Outlook open, I'm going to navigate to the tap, top left of the screen. I'm looking for that arrow that I just showed you, and here it is. We're going to click on that arrow, and when the pop-up window opens, we're going to navigate to the bottom where it says More Commands. In this screen, you're going to see the most popular commands. We're going to stay there in this video, and in a future video, we can look at some more advanced shortcuts or advanced commands. So right now, what I want you to look for is I want you to look for the new meeting. Now, the difference between a meeting and an appointment is an appointment is just for you. A meeting means that you're going to invite someone else. So once you choose the command, you need to click add. We're going to go new meeting and then we're going to choose new appointment, new contact new email, and new task. So each one that I selected, I added to the right-hand side, and that is what's going to show up on my blue bar. You can actually readjust the order of these if you choose. There's some down arrows, up and down arrows over here, so you can move it up or down. And I'm going to leave this in the original condition. Once you have chosen all the items that you want on your quick access toolbar, Go ahead and click OK, and you will see them at the top left of your screen. Hover over each icon to see exactly which you have in your toolbar. So for example, the first one that I hovered over without clicking on it, just gently hovering over it, it tells me that this is for a new meeting. So let's see how that works. Right now, I'm actually in my inbox. Typically, you may want to go down to the bottom left of your screen and choose the calendar and click over to the calendar and then create a new meeting from there. But I'm actually in the middle of cleaning up my inbox and I don't want to leave my inbox, but I do want to set up a meeting with someone. So I'm going to go ahead and here stay in my inbox, but set up a new meeting by clicking new meeting. Then I'm going to invite someone. I'm going to put the title, who's required, choose them from my address book, the time and the date. Send once you've completed the task. Now let's see what that looks like if we're actually over in the calendar and we want to send an email. So we're in the calendar and we want to send an email to someone. We can just click here to send a new email fill out the relevant information and click send. So that is an easy way to use both the inbox and the calendar without having to toggle back and forth and lose your place. You can also from here create a task for yourself and you can create an appointment on your calendar, which is just a reminder for you and does not have to involve anyone else. If you have an icon or command shortcut, whatever you want to call it. If you have one that you no longer want, you can actually right click and remove it. 
You can also add as many as you want. You can go back here, choose more commands, find something else, move it to the right hand side and click OK. So if you want to get really creative, instead of just looking at the most popular commands, you can actually choose all commands. And I don't even know how many are here. It looks to me like 500 or 1000 commands. So check it out, see what's possible and give this a try and leave a note in the comments about how you've been able to save some time and be more efficient by utilizing the quick access toolbar.